What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Clutch, man, and we're back on Havoc, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, guys. Man, today I got a little bit something different for a commentary. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background. It's a uh, 47 or 48 kill, uh, kill confirmed. Uh, I think it went to timeline. I, I think we get the victory, but guys, I wanted to talk on some real life stuff, man. Um, I was browsing the internet and, um, you know, I was watching ESPN and stuff, and they were talking about Ronda Rousey, you know, uh, how after she lost um, in that fight to Holly Holm, how she was in the medical room, and she was contemplating suicide. Now, depression, suicide, man, this shit is nothing to be playing around with. Um, I don't, to me, losing a fight... Um, especially in an MMA match, you're a champion. There's a lot of pressure on you, man. There, you know, the, the, um, you know, your fans, your promoters, your sponsors, there's a lot of pressure, you know, and I don't know if that's, if that played a part in it, but to sit there after a fight and pretty much quote unquote say, you know, people don't care about this shit, or people won't care about me, you know, so I'm just gonna off myself, you know, de depression is a disease, fellas, you know, it affects uh, two-thirds, um, or, or it affects a lot of people in America, two-thirds of the people with depression do not seek help at all, they think that they can deal with it, they have the mindset of, you know, I'm tough, I'm this, I'm supposed to be able to take care of it, I'm supposed to be able to handle stuff like this, but the bottom line, guys, is it affects a lot of people, you know, I, for one, have dealt with it, you know, um, I'm not ashamed to say it, uh, I've dealt with a lot of things in my life, and I know, you know, if you're listening to my stuff, or my commentaries, please pass it on, I, I, I really hope this reaches some people because I know that there's some kids out there that might not have the greatest life might not think they have a greatest life you know that people don't care about them maybe they have you know uh, um, a messed up household things like that but there are people out there that care you know we have a voice and I'm expressing my voice now that's this is one of the reasons why you know I got into YouTube um, in the first place was because I do have a voice. I want to express that voice. I want to use this voice for a positive reason. You know, and this is something that whenever I was uh, listening uh, 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 or, or heard about the interview that she did with Ellen, you know, I really was intrigued by it because I just don't understand how somebody of this caliber um, could be going through such things like this. And, and it affects a lot of people, and a lot of people don't know how to deal with it. And, you know, there's there's all kinds of help, man. You can, you know, you can Google it on, on, on uh, the Internet. You can get help. You know, the, the source behind it is, is I don't know. Um, everybody, you know, there's all these uh, scientists and psychologists and psychiatrists that are talking about some sort of head trauma. Uh, me personally, um, I don't, I don't agree with all that. I think that it's more of a depression issue. I think that, you know, there's so much of a high standard to live up to. And once you get to that level, you must maintain that. Or you honestly feel that you're going to lose this or you're going to lose that. So you put all this pressure and on yourself, your team puts pressure on yourself to perform or do your job at work or just make good grades or do this or do that. And if you're not prepared for it, it, it really could cause a lot of problems. You know, then you, you look at, you know, the Dave Mira situation. If you don't know who Dave Mira is, I watched that cat ride BMX bikes in the X Games uh, ever since I was a kid. And he was, you know, he, he's one of the leaders of, of the most X Games medals out there. I think he's number one or was number one. And, you know, he, he, he rode BMX bikes, then he went to Rallycross. You know, he, he, he was such a good athlete, 
and there's numerous, numerous of NFL players that have committed suicide, you know, and and we're all looking at a medical issue or blunt trauma to the head. I, I think these people was reaching out for something and nobody was taking heed to their calls. You know, the, you can look at, at the suicide statistics online. You know, four out of five display signs of suicide or depression and nobody pays attention to it. You know, and, and it's a lot to do with men, males, um, you know, especially uh, Caucasian males, and especially in the teen range. You know, 5,400 teens attempt suicide a day from the grades of 7th grade through 12th grade. You know, and I don't know if that is a bullying factor or just a piss poor household. I'm not sure. Guys, I'm just here to spread the word. You know, if, 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 you, if you're feeling some sort of way, guys, there's, there's so much stuff out there that could help you online. There's numbers that could help you. You know, seek some help. You know, don't let, you know, this disease beat you. You know, I've been dealing with it for a very, very long time. And it's something that I can attest to. And I've got people around me that help me every single day. And, and for that, I love them. You know, and there's a lot of people that don't understand. There's a lot of stuff that I don't, you know, um, tell people. There's I play video games to get that release. You know, it, it gets me away from thinking about certain things. You know, and I played baseball ever since I was four years old all the way up until, you know, I was 16, 17, or 18 years old. Um, and I played a couple whenever I was 20, 21, a couple of seasons. But, you know, and that was another thing. It, those sports kept my mind off the reality of what I was facing. You know, and maybe that's what these people, you know, like Ronda Rousey or Dave Mira, maybe the competitive atmosphere takes it away, even though Rousey's comments were a little different because she was actually considering it after she lost. That's not a reason to commit suicide. You know, losing a match or losing, you know, a game or, 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 or a fight or whatever it may be is not a reason uh, to, to, to commit suicide. You know, me playing a video game it, it's like a release it, it gets me away from thinking about the things that i was depressed in the first place i don't know what causes it with me you know i've seen a couple of doctors you know i've done this i've done that but i don't know i've always been told just suck it up be a man and, and i don't know how this dude killed me but he did but i was always told just suck it up deal with it go about your business and that's what i've done um, for most of my life, I just sit there and live with it. I, I try to get a release um, by playing video games, by doing certain things. And it gets me away from the, um, from the, 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 the life, the, the life of what is causing that. You know, and I've learned to deal with it. I've gotten help myself. You know, I've seen a couple of doctors and things like that. They've helped me tremendously. Guys, if you're watching this video and you hints any bit of, you know, depression or or you're sad all the time or you're pissed off or you, you know, anything like that, man, seek help. You have friends out there. There's people that care about you. We're in an age of technology with the Internet and YouTube. You know, I can actually sit down and I can have a chat uh, with people that watch my channel and, you know, it gets somewhere. So there's people out there that you could talk to, you know, that actually do care and they don't even know you. You know, maybe it was just something, um, you know, I, I don't know. You, but all I'm saying is that your life is worth it. You know what I mean? You know, everybody has a purpose on this earth. So live it to the utmost potential of what you can live it to. You know, don't settle for less. Don't don't settle for the end game. Don't do that. Everybody's life has a purpose, man. If you're feeling anything like that, get some help, man. It doesn't show weakness getting a little help. It actually shows you that you're trying to take care of your own in your own life and you're trying to figure it out. And 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 you're gonna keep grinding. Because that's the point of life, man. Keep grinding. No matter how bad life is, no matter what freaking balls are thrown in your court. No matter what cards are played on the table, you play the hand that's dealt. And you keep grinding, and you keep getting better at life. Guys, I appreciate you swinging by my channel. 
I hope you like the commentary. Guys, please share this around. Somebody really needs to hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. Please share it. I hope you like. Please subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.